So our second guest this evening is Helena Verhagen, who is a young Begunstiger for the Holland Festival. Helena, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the Holland Festival really, truly is the leading international performing arts festival, I'd venture to say, in the world. Uh, with theater, dance, music, there's a little bit of everything, something for everyone. And I think it's really important for viewers to know more about it and, and know how they can get involved. And um, that's why I think it's great that you're here to tell us more. So it's the 70th anniversary this year for the yeah. Holland Festival. Um, can you tell us more about the origins of the Holland Festival? How did it all come about? Well, it started in 1947. And the, the whole point of the Holland Festival is to bring together from all the corners of the world the biggest talents of performing arts. And so you were just mentioning the types of performing arts that they do, but they also do a lot of crossovers and a lot of pieces where you don't really know what you're looking at anymore. Um, the whole point is to bring new talent, um, established talent from all corners of the world to the Netherlands and for us to be able to enjoy that and I think it's an amazing um, initiative and they've been doing it for 70 years very successful at it so very much looking forward to 2017. And last year um, some stats there were 100 performances in 23 days 41 Dutch premieres and 12 world premieres so that's really impressive. It's staggering yeah talent. yeah. And can you tell us more a bit about your own background and how you got involved with the Holland Festival as a young Begunstiger? Um, yeah, I was asked to join them. Um, I had been part of a think tank for Holland Festival before us helping them to get younger audiences involved. Um, we've been, we had been very successful at that. Um, the initiative that I was a part of before that was, I, I'd, I'd actually outgrown that, I became too old, and we decided to come up with something <laughs> new um, so I could keep being involved. And uh, we came up with the concept of Jung Begunstigers, which is basically um, a set of performances that they select each year. Um, and it allows a group of people that are all interested in the performing arts and all have a passion for the performing arts to meet there. There's dinners and parties and drinks surrounding it. Um, and it, it's a platform to interact with these people, build friendships, um, network, if you will. Just for those people that don't know, young begunstigers, a very fun Dutch word to say, uh, means young patrons. So just, just to, so that's clear. Yeah. Um, and how young is young then? Is there a specific... I would say it starts at 30 and then going up. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, has, that, what, have you, what has your involvement been like? Do you go to most of the performances... Uh, from yeah, I mean, I've, I've always done that. My, my mom was an avid fan of uh, performing arts, and um, she, she, she's from Vienna, actually, and then moved to the south of the Netherlands and always was trying to find a way out. So she took my brother and me to all kinds of performances all over the place, um, and that included Holland Festival. So I was actually part of Holland Festival from a very young age. Oh, that's great. Um, I have some very good friends who are actually really, really deeply involved with Holland Festival, and they always tell me where to go, which is amazing. Um, this is the way that I get to see like the really new stuff, mm -hmm. um, but also stuff that I'm not familiar with. There's no way you can see everything, but I tend to go to 10, 15 performances each year. Okay. So June for me is ram-packed, yeah. 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 <laughs> Now, and um, there's actually, I hear, six performances already known for 2017's program. Of, so those will be online at hollandfestival.nl. Um, and from 7th of February onwards, the complete program will be announced. Um, but of those six, there are two in particular that uh, I, I think we should take a look at um, at some point. Nicht Schlafen by Alain Platel. Um, is there anything that you can say about that particular one? Oh, what can I say? Well, I love Alain Platel. I always go see him. He's, a, he's this Flemish choreographer, and he does these pieces that are always about the big themes in life. It's about um, death and trying to transform yourself into something that you're not now. It's um, about um, uh, a lot of masculine, very sweaty kind of pieces that 
get under your skin. So I love Alain Patel. I would, yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to see him. Well, let's have a look. That was very masculine and sweaty. Um, there's another clip that uh, perhaps we can have a look at. That is 887 by Robert Lepage. I might be saying it wrong. Is there anything you can tell us about that? And well, whether I'm saying I, I, it wrong? I know, I know the director. Um, he did a piece last year, which was um, playing card spades. And he's also one of those people who... who will look for controversy and, and, and the extremes, really. And this play was about, um, simultaneously, about the invasion in Iraq and um, Las Vegas. Oh. So very, very extreme, very uncomfortable. Um, and I love that about Holland Festival. They're very, they, they like taking risks mm -hmm. and they like making, they, they don't mind making people feel uncomfortable. So... That's what what I love about these people as well. These 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 um, uh, how do you say that directors? They um, they get under your skin. It's not n typically a, a night where you go out and see something beautiful and then you've had a nice evening. But these pieces actually stick with you and and they they keep coming back throughout the years sometimes. Well, that's very intriguing. I think that's what makes it sounds like what the festival that it is, and it's what it does. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, yeah. let's have a look at that one then. So that does definitely, that one will, I think will keep you awake at night or get you talking at least at the breakfast table the next day. I think but. so. It's what I, it's, it's, it happens yeah. every year at least once with, yeah. with performances that I just harass all my friends and say, you have to go see this. And well, last year, Robert Lepage was that. Yeah. Well, I'll have to mention one last year that I went to called The Future of Sex. I went with uh, a group of American students, actually, and um, they were very shocked by what they saw, so in talking about what uh, kind of making people feel uncomfortable, but in a good way, I think, that really got yeah. them, they'll never see a performance like that again, and, uh, yeah. and, and I think they still are talking about it. So in that sense, it really does uh, do something to the viewers. How can people get involved in the Holland Festival, especially as a young beginsteker? Well, if you want to get involved, um, we're always looking for for new interesting people and people interested in the in the performing arts. So I'm very much looking forward to 
um, involving new people. And if you want to get involved, you can go to hollandfestival.nl slash support. And um, there will be a page about how you can get involved with um, Jong Begunstigers. Um, and there's also a Facebook page that you can visit. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today and telling us more about this Performing Arts Festival. And... Uh, Enjoy the performances next year. I look forward to seeing the whole program on February 7th and the six that are online now. Great. Thanks Thank you so very much, much, Helena.